Chad's former president, Hissène Habré, was removed from court, where he's on trial for crimes against humanity. Nicholas Hack was there when it all unfolded. Habre is shouting, this is a masquerade and he doesn't recognize this court. But the trial will go ahead and hundreds of victims will come to the bar in a trial that's set to last for three months. For many here, this sets a precedent, making universal justice accessible to all on the African continent and perhaps bringing an end to impunity for African leaders that are allegedly involved in atrocities. They've already printed everything from guns to shoes. Now, 3D printers are helping to make replica body parts. Medical staff at the university in Australia are pioneering the technique, which they think could change the way doctors are taught. Andrew Thomas explains. So far, there hasn't been a complete body printed. There isn't yet a machine big enough to do it. This is actually a mix of body parts based on scans of different people, a modern model Frankenstein. As Cuba and the US are restoring diplomatic ties, talk moved to action as both countries formally reopened embassies. Lucia Newman is in Havana. This is no longer a US interest section under the care and protection of the Swiss embassy. That plaque is now gone and the building you see behind me that was constructed in 1953 is now once again the US embassy it was always meant to be. The American flag is not flying here, at least not yet. That will have to wait until U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry comes to oversee an official ceremony. But there are changes, from the tiny American flags that the embassy staff were carrying to the number of tourists and even Americans carrying their passports and flags to mark this day. All this and more on Al Jazeera.